In this tutorial, we will have look on selection tools. Selection tools are very important because selections are essentials for proper texturing. Selection tools you will find in LFO tools category. But if you would like to see selection tools only, write into the search field selection tool. And now are visible just tools which allows you to create various type of selections. Ambient Occlusion tool allows you to create selection based on ambient occlusion properties. AO tool contains 10 different algorithms and standard parameters, which allows you to control look and shape of ambient occlusion selection. Curvature Uniform tool allows you to create curvature selection. This tool contains eight different algorithms and standard parameters, which allows you to control look and shape of curvature selection. Fresnel tool allows you to create selection based on Fresnel scale. This tool contains six different algorithms and standard parameters, which allows you to control look and shape of Fresnel selection. Second Fresnel tool is using the same principles, parameters and workflow as previous Fresnel tool. Difference is that second Fresnel tool is using slightly different algorithms. Height and slope tool allows you to create selection based on object's height or slope angle. This tool contains five different selection types and standard parameters, which allows you to control look and shape of height or slope selection. Also, here you can find two different transform space types. Well transform space type for objects without moving or without animation, and object transform space type for objects which supposed to have any kind of movement. As I already mentioned in tips and tricks tutorial, height bottom and top coordinates are very often large range values, and you will find in mentioned tutorial also how to set up UI for this kind of parameters. However, if you don't want to change UI for this tool, you don't have to. And second option on how to use large values with this tool is to connect constant node and control this range over two constant nodes as you can see in this example. This allows you to use large values or even negative values as well. And you don't have to be worried about UI changes anymore. If you would like to control slope range, make sure that you are using correct selection type. Object Selections tool is utilizing objects normals and allows you to control objects X, Y, Z normals separately. This tool contains nine different algorithms and standard parameters, which allows you to control look and shape of normal selection. Change selection type and it allows you to switch between available normals directions. Projected Selection tool is projecting ramp shapes onto the object Shape and direction of projected selection depends on chosen projection type. This tool allows you to create gradient but also circular selection. Size, smoothness and shape of selection you control with intensity, range and clamp parameters. This tool is very sensitive to object size. In case that object is large around 1 meter or more, you will need significantly less parameter adjustments than in case that object is too small. So in case that you have smaller object than one meter or in case that you are not able to see proper looking selection, decrease projection scale parameters. Another very helpful parameters are projection rotation and offset, which allows you to move selection on preferred place by selected axis. User data tool allows you to create selection utilizing user data, such as myograph color, index ratio, or geometry ID. You can choose from nine different user data types and in remark field you can see exactly which nine user data types you can use with this tool. So make sure that your object contains this kind of data and choose proper user data type to create dedicated selection. Last and the most convenient type of selection is vertex selection. It allows you to paint exact selection directly onto the object. Vertex selection supports also fields. For this type of selection, you have to assign vertex map into the attribute name field. And if I will double click on vertex map, as you can see it allows me to modify vertex selection exactly as I need. 
So choose mode which you would like to use and if I will use apply all, as you can see it's modifying look of vertex selection. So in case that your selection is very sharp or contains artifacts, use smooth mode. And as you can see smooth parameter controls how subtle or aggressive smooth will be applied onto the selection.